Welcome to the ITN Supply Order Module Demonstration. Today we will walk through the steps to enter a new supply order within the LabVantage application. Upon logging into the application, you'll see the new supply order module located on the kit's tram line. To start an order, click the supply order tram stop. The system will open the supply order list page. This will show any supply order that has been entered for any of the sites you have, sites you have access to. To add a new order, click the Add button. There are three required fields before you, you, that must be entered before you can enter in your supply order items. First, select the study you want to create a supply order for. The system will automatically pre-populate the site ID. If the system does not pre-populate the site ID, this means you do not have access to this study. Please contact your column immediately if you believe you need access to this study. If you selected the wrong study, click the Select button again to select the right study. The third field required is the Deliver By Date. Click the calendar to enter the date you need the supplies delivered to your site by. If you select a date within three business days, that is considered a rush order. The system will open a warning menu window to ask you to contact your comm immediately so we can arrange the rush order and ensure they can be delivered in that amount of time. After you've entered these three items, click the Save button. If you try to add supply items before clicking Save, the system will not save those supply items to your order, so be sure to click Save after entering the study ID, site ID, and deliver by date. After clicking Save, you click the Add Supply Items to add the individual items to your order. The system will open a new window that has all of the items available for the study you selected. Click the checkbox next to the items that you would like to add to your order. Once done clicking all of the items to your order, click the Select and Return button. This will add the items to your order details table. Now enter the quantity needed for each individual item. Clicking the Enter button on your keyboard will advance to the row below. After entering all the items needed, click the Save button. If you realize that you made a mistake and you don't need a certain item, you can click the checkbox next to that item and click the Remove button. If you realize that you need to add an additional item, click the Add Supply Items button and select the appropriate item that you need to add or items. Enter the item quantity for that new item added. Be sure to click Save after any changes to the order. Once you've confirmed all items are appropriate and it's ready to be submitted, click the Submit button. By clicking the Submit button, this will send an email notification to the ITN to noti notify us that a new order has been added. After you've clicked the Submit button, if you realize you did make a mistake, you are still able to edit the order. To edit the order, click the Edit button. You then can edit the Deliver By Date if you need to modify a quantity, if you need to add a new supply item or remove item, do all as appropriate. After you've made the change, be sure that you save the changes and resubmit the order. It's critical to resubmit the order because that will give us an email notification to note that this order has been updated and to look at the most updated uh, order. After the order has been received by the ITN, we will enter in the ship date, tracking number, and internal BSA order ID for that shipment. You should receive the package and then verify that all items were received appropriately. If your, any items are missing or any items is damaged, you are able to enter in those um, issues into the order details table. 
To add a note that the item was missing or damaged, click the Edit button. Then using the drop-down field, you can select that what would happen if it was damaged tubes. Or if you're missing an item, you can enter that also. If an order is completely received without any issues, you do not need to enter the information about um, the received status. We ask only enter information for issues with an order. After you've entered the received state issues and notes, be sure to click Save and the Submit button to resubmit that order and the email notification will be received at the ITN to note any issues with your order. We'll then work with the vendor to resupply you with any issues of any damaged or missing items. That concludes the steps for adding a new supply order to the LabVantage application. If you have any questions, please contact your comm or site support. Thank you. Have a good day.